You're watching Tag TV. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spell-binding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age all culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Emma and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. Goa Carnival one of the most anticipated festivals of the coastal state was recently celebrated with great pomp and show. Revelers decked up in vibrant dresses were seen lost in the vivid colors of the Goan culture. A perfect blend of tradition and modernity. A four-day long Goa carnival is one of the most awaited festivals of the state. It is declared open by a lucky local who gets to play the role of King Momo and led the parade through the streets of Panji amid cheering crowd. King Momo or the King of the Carnival is the prime character of this extravaganza. The word Momo is derived from the Greek god Momus, the god of satire. Tourists come from different parts of the country to be a part of the fiesta and have a glimpse of the Goa's vibrant culture. लग रहा है एकदम बढ़िया कोरोना में ऐसा एक्सपेक्टेशन नहीं किया था इतना अच्छा करेगा लेकिन ऑसम बहुत मस्त किया है. Different float parades accompanied by live bands and dances are the highlight of the carnival. Innovative minds are on display as they show the tendency to caricature even the most serious matters beautifully. This year, 43 floats took part in the parade among which 5 were in the traditional category, 9 in club and institution category, 3 in sponsored category, 5 in the fun and junk category and 4 in the family category. The highest number was in the Joker category, where 15 people contested. Though the festival is held across seven cities in Goa, but this time amid the pandemic, it was organized only in Panjim and Madgao. Uh, normally we used to have it in seven cities, but because of the pandemic, uh, the scale of the event has been reduced. But I am very happy to tell you that uh, tourists, domestic tourists from all over the country are in Goa in large numbers. Uh, carnival will be, um, uh, it's a perfect showcase of uh, the fun and frolic that Goa has to offer. So uh, normally we experience a huge rush of tourists and this year fortunately is no different. And we have been advising people to stay safe, keep distancing, wear masks all the time uh, so that uh, they, they are safe, their families are safe and they enjoy Goa responsibly. This year, animals appeared to be the favorite theme as there were quite a few floats featuring both domestic and wild animals. While one float had the theme Animal Zoo, as it had different stuffed animals, there was another with the huge black panther that urged people to save wildlife. Thousands of people were seen standing along the roadside to experience the unique celebrations. It was really good. Uh, everyone says so much enthusiasm and all different things you get to see. It's really nice to see the spirit of everyone come here. Focused on feasting and merrymaking, Goa Carnival started in 18th century and is organized just before the beginning of Lent, a 40-day period of fasting and prayer. The carnival is exclusive and unique to the state and was introduced by the Portuguese who ruled over Goa for over 500 years. Though it fell into obscurity in between but it was again resurrected as a minor street celebration in 1965. This uh, carnival has uh, started uh, after liberation in 1965. In 1965 we revived it. 
and the director of, of tourism revived it and they started doing this King Mamma's float. It was followed every year now. And they appoint committees now. They don't do directly. Through the committees they do. India is represented by the innumerable festivals which are celebrated throughout the year. These occasions are a reason why the centuries-old traditions, culture and brotherhood among the people of India is so intact. Observing all the festivals together, be it of any religious community, has been a part of Indian culture for years. Celebrating the spirit of togetherness is the Tanara Tea Festival which is celebrated with great enthusiasm in Karnataka's Kalaburgi district. Thousands of devotees from different parts of the world throng the Nalvar village of Karnataka to participate in one of the most significant festivals of the village. Known as Tanarti Festival, this unique celebration of faith and devotion is celebrated in Kalaburgi district of Karnataka, which is attended by people regardless of their caste or religion. Tanarti Usome, Ratosome, Maharashtra, Andhra, Tamil Nadu, Keral Sebi, both Logati, Yan Kisika, Dharmu, Jatika, Bin Bed Nayai, Apaji Sabloku, Eki Tarafs Mante, E. Matka Visheshai, E. India, Tanarti Uso, Kidar Binayote, Sirf Nalwar Matme Chote, or both, both, both Dursa Logate, Unki Manat Puri Honikaba, Tanarti Uso, either Chalte. Celebrated on the eve of Avratri Amavasya, this 200-year-old ritual is organized at the Kori Siddheshwar Math every year. Devotees from all over the state of Karnataka and nearby states visit the Math to offer their prayers to Kori Siddheshwar and pray for fulfillment of their wishes. On the occasion, the chief of the mud, Dr. Siddhotendra Shivacharya Swami, dressed himself in traditional attires and blessed the devotees. Devotees prepare lamps made of wheat flour known as tanarti. On fulfillment of wishes, they carry tanartis on their heads and encircle the mud five times to thank the deity. The festival has been breaking all barriers of caste and religion and has been serving as a signature of communal and religious harmony. I am a Muslim. I am a good person. 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 I am a good India celebrates a number of such festivals that bring together people of different faiths to embrace their own uniqueness and celebrate the spirit of togetherness and brotherhood. Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Hindu devotees in parts of northern India took a holy dip in River Ganga on Basan Panchami or Spring Festival amid coronavirus pandemic. Basan Panchami marks the beginning of the spring season in India. The festival glorifies the Hindu goddess of knowledge and wisdom, Saraswati. Devotees in Haridwar and Varanasi city throng the banks of River Ganga in the day, while in the eastern Kolkata city, prayers were offered on the occasion. Asnan Corona Kal me jo hai, asn apne sarir ka jo hai swaraksha ke liye mask vagera pahen karke log aa rahe hain, aur apni swaraksha ke liye jo hai Ganga Asnan me sarir ek duri bana karke log rakh rakhe hain. Devotees wear yellow clothes on this day and a variety of sweets flavoured with saffron are prepared and donated. Hindus believe Goddess Saraswati was born on this day.
thousands of residents in Surat city of Gujarat gather to watch an annual sailboat race. A 30 km long lap is stretched on the Tapi river and begins and ends at the Magdala bridge. The race judges sailing abilities of the participants and study of wind and river flow. Most spectators watch the race from Magdala bridge but some also hire other kinds of boats to cheer their favorite participants from the water itself during the competition. जैसे ये हवा जितनी तेज रहेगी तो कभी-कभी ये नाव पलट भी जाती है पानी में मतलब बहुत टफ है ये 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 सब ये एक नाव में आठ आदमी रहता है और सबको मतलब मेहनत करनी पड़ती है The race is an annual event that has been happening in the city for over 50 years. More than 120 breeds of canines won the hearts and ruled at the dog show held in West Bengal, Siliguri. Breeds like Poodle, Siberian Husky, German Golden Retriever, Labrador Retriever, Cross Breed, Speech, Dalmatian, Lhasa Apso, among others were the main stillers of the hearts at the show. So, the moment, the animals are not able to say anything, the animals are not able to say anything. We need to give them a small bit of information. ऐसे शो में लाने से वो भी कुछ एंटरटेनमेंट अपना मन से करेंगे तो हमारे पे जो पेट जो है और जो है ना हमारा जो इंसान के साथ जो कम्युनिकेशन बढ़ जाएगा उनके साथ में और पेट से यहाँ लाने से वेरिएंट्स मिल जाएगा देखने को मिल जाएगा उनका जो क्या क्या एटीट्यूड है डॉग का जो एटीट्यूड है वो भी दिखने को मिलेगा अच्छा लगा हमें भी सिलीगुड़ में पहली बार हुआ है Such shows provides an opportunity to explore various varieties of breeds and also enhance the owner's affection for the animals. Indian Himalayan cold desert of Ladakh has created ice stupas or artificial glaciers to combat the water crisis in the cold and dry hilly region, especially during winter. Ice stupas are one of the most popular forms of conserving winter wastewater in high altitude areas and are an effective tool to deal with adverse impacts of climate change in the ecologically fragile area. Over the past few winters, environmental engineer Sonam Wangchuk has been creating these ice cone structures by running pipes under the frost line or the freezing depth and then pushing water through these pipes into cold air, which causes it to land as ice on the ground. Uh, ice stupa, which is a kritrim glacier, manav nirmit, artificial glacier, ka roop hai, uske uh, zariye se, jo sardiyo mein paani behti hai, chashmo se, jo ki zaya ho jati hai, kyunki koi uh, sardiyo mein kheti hoti nahi hai, usko jama kar rakhne ka kaam kar rahe hai, taaki jab basant mein wo beej boenge, tab unhe ye paani pigalta hua mile, aur kuch unhe laab ho. The size of the corn makes the structures resemble like the Buddhist stupas, hence the name ice stupa. As these towers melt in late spring, the melt water is collected in tanks and fed onto planted land using a drip irrigation system. Sufism has entrenched itself at the center of cultural and spiritual life in India. Giving a glimpse of this unique devotional culture, today we take you to a Darga in New Delhi which has been serving as a Sinosher of communal harmony for years. The shrine of Sufi saint Hazrat Nasiruddin Mahmood Chirag, located in the Chirag Delhi area of New Delhi, is an abode of peace and tranquility. Cutting across all religious lines, a number of devotees visit the holy shrine to offer prayers to Sufi saint and wish for peace and harmony. यह चिरागिली के अंदर तो ये सब मुसलमान तो बहुत कम हैं यहाँ पर सारे हिंदू और यहाँ पर दरगाह में सरकार में हिंदू मुस्लिम सी किसाई सारे आते हैं और सब को यहाँ से एक अच्छा पैगाम पहुँचता है और यहाँ से जो कोई लेने वाला होता है मांगने का तरीका होता है तो वो मांगे तो जहाँ से सब कुछ मिलता है इज्जत बादशाह दौलत शोरत जो लेने वाला चाहिए किस ढंग से लेना है कैसे लेना है वो मांगना हमें आता नहीं है मांगना आ जाए तो इस दरबार पे सब कुछ मिलता है Nasiruddin Mahmood was a 14th century mystic poet and Sufi saint of the Chishti order, 
a disciple of Hazrat Nizamuddin Aulia and his successor Mahmud was considered as the last important Sufi of the Chishti order. Given the title of Roshan Chirag Delhi, the Sufi saint's mausoleum was built by the then Sultan of Delhi, Firoz Shah Tughlaq in the 18th century. The dargah is a beautiful piece of architecture which imbibes a pious and a positive vibe which is why devotees of different religions are attracted to this holy place. कहीं भी कुछ महसूस ना हो मतलब जब अपनी जिंदगी से इंसान निराश हो जाता है घर में कोई कलेस हो कुछ हो परेशानियां हो तो यहां आके बहुत सुकून मिलता है मैं यहां आके बहुत टाइम गुजार चुकी हूं और अब भी जब भी मुझे टाइम मिलता है मैं यहां आती हूं और यहां आने पर बहुत सुकून मिलता है और यहां की मान्यता इतनी है कि थर्सडे वाले दिन कि जितने मुसलमान नहीं होते उतने हिंदू होते हैं हिंदू लोग बहुत ज्यादा आते हैं बहुत मानते हैं यहां पर The dargah of Nasiruddin Mahmud is a perfect example of communal harmony that is witnessed throughout the length and breadth of our country. The solidarity among the different religious communities has remained a hallmark of India's unity since time immemorial. Like the saying goes, a rolling stone gathers no moss. It is important for young stars to engage in different physical exercises to stay fit and keep going on the path of fitness. Moving on the same line, a cycling event was recently organized in Shimla city of Himachal Pradesh. 80 participants from different districts of Himachal Pradesh gathered in the capital city of Shimla with their cycles to participate in one of its kind event. Set to be the first interstate event, the Mountain Cycling Championship was organized by the Himalayan Adventure Sports and Tourism Promotion Association or HATSPA with the motive of nurturing the young talent of the state and prepare them for national and international level championships. This championship was the first of its kind in the state. We have 80 participants from eight districts participating today. The youngest rider, which gives us a lot of happiness, is eight years and six months of age. So, uh, just to see how the sport has grown in the grassroots is immensely satisfying. The cyclist had to race on a five-kilometer track that went through hilly terrains and rugged forest routes of the hill town. The male and female participants had five different age categories for them to participate in like below 14 years, 19 years, 23 years and elite category. Participants were screened by eight units set up by Hastpa which brought out the best of talent from all over the state. Participants were delighted to have been a part of the event. This will definitely promote more lo local riders. Like you can see, for the first time, more than 70 riders. So definitely, it will uproot and bring up the local riders, and maybe any match will produce good riders. I'm five years old and I'm cycling. In uh, 2017, I won nationals. I won two gold medals in nationals. And now, this year, COVID time, there were some races and events. But now, this is state championship. Before this, there was district championship. So, साइकिलिंग एसोसिएशन ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश ने ये ऑर्गेनाइज करी है और अभी तक कोई एक प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं था कि हिमाचल के बच्चे नेशनल्स में रिप्रेजेंट कर पाएँ काफ़ी सालों के बाद शायद पहली बार एक एक फेयर रूल्स के साथ सिलेक्शन हो रही है फॉर नेशनल्स तो ये बहुत अच्छी बात है आने वाली जनरेशन के लिए भी और मेरे लिए भी फिटनेस एक्टिविटीज लाइक साइकिलिंग हैव गेन मोर पॉपुलरिटी आफ्टर द पैंडमिक with people increasing the engagement in fitness and exercises because of which the competition so mass participation last but not the least we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our new edition world in focus Japan recently launched its COVID-19 inoculation drive administering the Pfizer Inc vaccine to Tokyo hospital workers as Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga attempts to defy the odds and host the Olympics this summer. 
ところが、あまあ、就職に向けての,の希望の大きな第一歩に、えー、なりました。あ今後、この国立病院機構をはじめとする、えーまあ、厚生労働省が所管をする独立行政法人、約100の医療機関がございますけれども、約4万人の医療従事者の方々に対しまして、先行接種を行っていきたいと思う次第でございます。Inoculating Japan's 126 million population swiftly is a top priority for Suga's government, with a postponed Tokyo 2020 Olympics scheduled to start in the late July. Still, the complete rollout of the program, moving first through some 3.7 million medical personnel and 36 million people aged 65 or above, is expected to take a year. Lockdown cooking and casual clothing inspired designer Jason Wu's Autumn Winter 2021 collection was on display as his models paraded live at New York Fashion Week. The creation was dished out in his 1950s inspired Mr. Wu's general store between rows of fresh produce set up in an empty Broadway shop front. The show featured loose fitting long dresses and skirts combined with knitted sweaters and long masculine coats. Red and blue popped out against white, black, and grey. Long fringes and boots in yellow snakeskin and pink patent leather lighten up more somber styles. In line with his 1950s Americana team, Wu also partnered with Coca-Cola, diving into the U.S. brand's archives to unearth prints, logos, and styles. Diners in Malaysia can now devour meals from inside their cars after a restaurant opened a drive-in service for people who are longing to dine out. In Cyberjaya, a satellite city located on the outskirts of capital Kuala Lumpur, customers drove into parking lot of the Padi House restaurant, ordering and enjoying their food without leaving their car. Of course, we will make it more interesting. The idea I said was share a bouquet from the I said Hidangan Kabau Deba. Actually, like people that are going out to work so hard, they uh, they wish to have a proper dinner, proper meal. So we come up with a when you order the main course, we are set. So we are given together the drinks and the dessert. And uh, maybe for the lunch time, the weather is hot. You know, Malaysia weather is very hot. So we are given the ice cream also. The restaurant has ceased dine-in service since the first movement control measures. Kicked in last March due to the pandemic, each set meals comes with a customized tray to fit in the narrow space between driver's seat and steering wheel, enabling the customers to enjoy the meal without hassle. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at the rate anin dot com. I am your host Emma, and it's goodbye from the entire production team.